Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is an interactive video lesson about decimals on the number line. And this particular video is about the thousandths place. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna take some uh, notes on the first page, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems in a row. And then at the end, you can see how you did. All right, so take a look at this first uh, number line. Uh, down at the very beginning, we have the number uh, one and 120 thousandths. At the far end, we have one and 130 thousandths, okay? So we wanna know what's the value of right here and also right over here. So this point and also this point. So the secret is we have to figure out the value, all right, between each little mark. So we know that right here, we have 1.120 or one and 120 thousandths. And here we have one and 121 thousandths. So notice as we go from left to right, we're increasing, I'm gonna say a plus sign, by 0 0.001. So it's increasing by one one thousandths every time we move up a line. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add, okay, a one one thousandths for every mark we have. So we have one in 121 thousandths. So that means this one's gonna be one, and 122 thousandths. And finally, this means this is gonna be one and 123 thousandths. All right, let's keep going. This would be one and 124 thousandths, one and 125 thousandths, one and 126 thousandths, one and 127 thousandths, one and 128 thousandths. There we go. So this is gonna be one and 128 thousandths. And it's good to just keep on going, make sure it's right. That means this is gonna be one in 129 thousandths. And finally, take a look, this one is our one in 130 thousandths. All right, that's the first one. Let's go down to the second one. So here we have the number uh, three and 211 thousandths. But notice the next mark is three and 213 thousandths. So between marks, it's increasing by two one thousandths. Add that in for me just like that, okay? So we're gonna to add two one thousandths for every mark that we go up. So that means this is gonna be, okay, uh, 3.215, and then this one is gonna be 3.217, and so on, okay? So the secret about these problems is you gotta figure out, okay, how they increase from one mark to the next mark. Once you do that, uh, the rest is pretty self-explanatory. All right, so why don't you uh, pause the video and try the your turn now problems, and when you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, friends, welcome back. Let's see how you did with these practice problems. Um, so I filled in the correct values inside each box. See how you did, okay? But remember, the key thing you gotta remember when you do these type of problems is you have to figure out the value between each of the marks. So as we increase from left to right, all right, the numbers went up one one thousandths, okay? And then down here, as we went from mark to mark, the numbers increased by three one thousandths. So that's really the, the key thing. If you figure out the value between one point to the next point, the change in the value, I, value, I should say, um, that's really the key part of, of doing these type of problems. All right, how'd you do?